category is Mother Goose, an outfit inspired by a classic nursery rhyme. Up first, Geneva Carr as Miss Muffet. Eating her curds and way. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet is all grown up and she's giving like 1800s whore. I own the whorehouse. Oh my God, a spider. Dawn as Cushy Cow. Look at the set of sirloins on her. <laughs> I'm serving cow on the runway tonight. Hooved feet, mama, get the shoe. Clip clop, clip clop, mother That's all I gotta say. Hershey LaCour Jeté as Bernie B. It's pollinating season, bitches. Mm -hmm. So Miss Bernie B is getting married. <laughs> Old glamorous lady is part of the Hershey LaCour aesthetic, so that's why I picked Bernie. Mirage is Baba Black Sheep. You know where she gets her hair done? Where? At the Baba shop. <laughs> I'm giving rich valley girl black sheep fantasy. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, girl, yes, girl. Three bags full. Megami as little Bo Peep. It looks like she's been fleeced. <laughs> I'm giving very sexy, deconstructed little Bo Peep with my little fancy sheep purse, which I'm looking for, but oh, there it is. Amanda Tori Meany as Little Pussy. This one gives me pause. Okay. <laughs> I'm covered in these kitties that used to be my playthings. Yes, the kitties are dead. It's giving Barry Rhoda from the Bad Seed. Morphine as a man and a maid. Duster? Uh, I don't even, even know her. <laughs> I am giving you a slutty maid who stole your man. You know, I'm using this little cleaning product, but honestly, I don't know how to clean anything. So just look at my ass. Maya Iman LePage as Mary's Canary. I like that she feathered her hair. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you Hagen Queen. I'm giving you Feather. And the color is yellow. So be cautious, bitches. Q is the man in the moon. Now, is she waxing or is she waning? Mm. I want to give this very whimsical storybook character and, and breathe life into it. And I just feel like a creature that is out of this world. Nymphia Wynn is Little Boy Blue. This looks like a bad case of blue balls to me. <laughs> this look is serving Rococo. She's giving you androgyny. And I'm blowing on horns, but it doesn't seem to make a sound. Safira as Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. You know, at midnight, she turns back into a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Pumpkin Eater may have been caught in the pumpkin, but she is still a glamorous bitch, honey. I'm ready for the runway. I look sickening, honey. Plain Jane as Pussycat by the fire. I usually have it by the glass. <laughs> I'm just giving you grand dame, roaring 20s. RuPaul is looking right at my pussy, and he loves every bit of it. Tsunami Muse as Humpty Dumpty. Excellent. <laughs> Huntina Dumpty. Oh, 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 she fell and boom, cracked and emerged as the egg baby Huntina is snatched. I definitely feel like a sexy egg, if, if, if that's a thing, you know. <laughs> Plasma as Tweedledum and Tweedledee. She's putting the tweed back in Tweedledee. <laughs> I'm wearing a puppet over my stomach on both top and bottom. And mama, that is not usually where we find ourselves. So I'm giving you a little bit of versatility today. <laughs> Serving dumb and dumber. <laughs>
latex outfit, and it is very hot, just like global warming. I'm portraying Mother Nature as a demure woman, and we need to take better care of her. Mirage as La Llorona. Sisters to my Sharona. Oh, OK. I was thinking El Nino. <laughs> <laughs> Lairona is a notoriously bad mother. She is a ooky spooky Pokemon man type figure. I just finished drowning my children in the river. She's giving nudity, she's giving inches. Honestly, I don't care if I ever find these kids. I look good. Megami as Lady Gaga, Mother Monster. Mm -hmm. Pause up. I am a huge Gaga fan. I have her tattooed on my body. I love that I get to honor someone who gives me such confidence in my own life. A mandatory meeting as Michelle Visage. Oh, it's a walk down memory lane. <laughs> oh, yes! Reduction! Boom! I've been obsessed with Michelle, past, present, and future. I am showing off this beautiful makeup that I've done. I want her to see, like, I am soaking up every critique you give me. If I'm kissing her ass, I'm kissing her ass. Morphine as Kris Jenner. Mama, you're on the catwalk. I literally feel like the real Kris Jenner, but 25 years younger. I'm giving a one-sided soup, and I pull out the camcorder to record the judges in all their glory and all their action, like a mama does. Maya Iman LePage as Lil' Kim. When I think of mothers, uh -huh. this is the first one that pops to mind. The mother I'm doing is mother of rap. I love her so much. And people always tell me I look like Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim as Missy Misdemeanor Elliot. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's a hybrid. Yeah. Hugh as Mama Judy Garland. The mother of a soul. Mm-hmm. Classic mother, mother to Liza Minnelli, darling. I am giving this dress that Judy wore in concert. It's called the poppy dress. It was one of the most famous dresses that she ever wore, and I wanted to do it justice. Nymphia Wynn as Angelina Jolie. And all of her children's artwork adorn her gown. The look I'm referencing is her wedding dress. Just like her, I have six drag daughters. I had my drag family in Taiwan to, you know, paint the dress. So for me, it was very sentimental to be able to bring that Taiwan family here. Safira as E. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> I am the famous mother, the first mother. The snake thought he tricked Eve. But baby, Eve skinned that mother tucker and turned it into couture. Plain Jane as the Octomom. I am hobbling down this runway after just giving birth. But oh, oh, I feel another one coming. Ah! Oh. My beautiful children also double as a glamorous stole. I turn around, get to show my wide birthing hips, serving nothing but Octomom pussification realness. Well, one child left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Tsunami Muse as Candy Muse. I think you look just like Candy Muse. <laughs> <laughs> I've chosen to recreate Candy's entrance look from season 13. I am celebrating the Muse empire, baby. This is just the beginning of what the Muses have in store for you. Plasma as Anne Boleyn. The f***iest mother in all of royal British history. And then she got her head cut off. Tweedledee Tweedledum had two heads, and Anne Boleyn has no head. So, how's your head? She performs under the name Guillotina Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the mother of all balls. Category is Call Me Mother Father Eleganza. Up first, Geneva Carr. Vroom, vroom. At leisure, I hardly know her. <laughs> For this look, I'm giving military boss. It's a deconstructed suit. I'm using my sexiness, my Latina essence, letting the judges know that I'm very confident in what I'm wearing. The sergeant commander of the queer brigade. <laughs> Dawn. House of Keebler. <laughs> I'm giving you construction worker. My boots are made out of worker aprons. My corset is a puffer vest. And my cape is made out of a lot of menswear that I picked up in a pile and cut together nicely. She's on the patch. She certainly is. Hershey liqueur jeté. That is a mother getting her kids in check. Uh, oh, OK. I wanted to give you classy sophisticated, grown woman. She draws a Nissan Altima. She demands your attention, and she looks good. 
I own 51% of this Chico's. <laughs> Mirage. You heard of Rambo? Well, this is Glambo. For this look, I painted on a black eye because my dad was a boxer in the army, and that was what ultimately inspired this look today. It was a rough day for me, but I got something together, and I feel hot. So it's a win for me. <laughs> it turns out we do need another hero, don't we? <laughs> Megami. Home Depot, she better do. <laughs> My look is very Rosie the Riveter meets Rosie Perez. I feel like this look turned out really chic and cool. Now the maroon bandana, that means she likes Merlot? Yeah. <laughs> a mandatory meeting in the ladies' room. If Lady Gaga were a paralegal. I am selling CEO, woman in the workplace, on vacation, she's still taking calls, Work is always on her mind. Pomp adorable. <laughs> Morphine. Talk about hot pockets. <laughs> I don't know what look I was trying to go for, but I'm feeling very sexy. And when I spin around, you see my beautiful bbl ass. Last minute, bitch, I decided to do a witch hat. Don't know why, but it looks great. Wrangler, I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> my Iman, the page. You know what she's doing? What? The safety dance. <laughs> My look is giving you very rocker, very punk. After piecing the looks together, it turned out good, and I'm actually liking this look. I'm not sad about it. <laughs> Hugh. Madame Mixalot. Sir Madame Mixalot. <laughs> I'm serving a little bit of Vivian Westwood with some Dior sculpture elements, and then a little bit of Tom Brown. Very also avant-garde, haute couture fashion. If everybody votes how they should, I should be in the top this week. Fifty Shades of Hay! <laughs> <laughs> Nymphia Wynn. Wow. Oh my gosh. Nymphia can't come to the phone. She's a little tied up right now. <laughs> ties, ties, ties. Squiggly ties everywhere. I feel gorge. I feel tied up in my own fantasy. Well, the pleather was all mine. <laughs> the Fira. It's tool time. <laughs> How's your Phillips head? <laughs> I'm giving you Roberta the Builder. Honey, this is my take on overalls. Sapphira Cristal loves big, huge skirts. I am not as small as I appear in drag, and I have to use proportions to make it look that way. You better work, bitch. You can start with the washing machine. <laughs> Plain Jane. Gee, I didn't know Fredericks of Hollywood was back in business. Well, now it's Fredericks of North Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> this outfit is made entirely out of one suit that I deconstructed. I am slaying, and I can see Carson really squinting for the details. Squint away, mama. You won't be able to spot a single flaw. You've heard of Brooks Brothers, darling? Yeah. These are the Brooks sisters. Oh. <laughs> Tsunami Muse. Stop relying on that Argyle sock. <laughs> I created this look out of suits, boxers, and dress shirts. I feel like the ditziest schoolgirl, and I'm having so much fun bringing this character alive. I'll see you in detention. <laughs> Plasma. It's not just for TV anymore. <laughs> I am literally giving you my biological mother, Stacy, with this floor-length pinstripe gown. I own 51% of this men's warehouse. And don't f with me, fellas! Tina, darling, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the gray flannel. Barbara, please. Please! please. <laughs>